This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the JDFN Market Wrap. This is the James Dix Market Wrap on a Monday. Jack Lott on the James Dix Financial Network. As a result of the current volatile economic situation, the Federal Reserve is reportedly prepared to cut interest rate, perhaps to their lowest in more than four years. The FOMC will announce the decision after their two-day meeting. That will be held on Wednesday afternoon, 2.15 p.m. Eastern Time is when the announcement will be made as to the uh, decision on the interest rates. Government will begin doling out $125 billion to nine major banks this week as part of its effort to contain a growing financial crisis. Sales of new homes rose an estimated 2.7 percent in September. And the Lundberg survey shows gas prices continue to decline, tumbling nearly 53 cents a gallon in the past couple of weeks. In other news today, Century Tell plans to buy Embark Corporation for $11.6 billion in stock in an effort to cut costs and stay competitive. Toyota Motors said its global sales in the July through September quarter fell for the first time in seven years. And the financial ministers and central bank presidents of the G7 industrial countries issued a joint statement in which they expressed their concern about the recent volatility of the Japanese yen. Scheduled economic reports on Tuesday in the U.S. include the retail chain index for the week of October 24th, the Case-Shiller index, and the Consumer Confidence Index for October. In earnings uh, today, Verizon Communications earning $1.67 billion or 59 cents a share. That's up from 44 cents a year ago. Humana earned $183 million or $1.09 a share. And Lorillard earning $237 million or $1.38 a share. Analysts had been expecting $1.35. Scheduled earnings on Tuesday include Occidental Petroleum, DreamWorks Animation, Martha Stewart Living Omnimedia, Energy Taser, Centex, Snitzer Steel, Fresh Del Monte, McGraw-Hill, Royal Caribbean Cruises, as well as Valero Energy. Some of the stocks in the news today. Big day at Volkswagen. Its shares traded more than 200% higher in Europe after Porsche said it had options on 31.5% of VW. Pilgrim's Pride's lenders have agreed to extend the temporary waiver under its credit facilities through November 26th, and SanDisk upgraded to neutral from underperform at Cowan and & Company. And that is the market wrap on a Monday. I'm Jack Lott on the James Dix Financial Network.